Here's a common Figma challenge that a lot of us designers face. Converting images to vector. The inbuilt options in Figma are super limited. So I'm going to show you a secret tool that I use, which is the best method I've found so far. In Figma, there are two common methods. The first is a manual tracing where you use the pen option. But as you know, this is a very tedious job for illustrations. It's not a very effective method of doing it. So that leads us to the second method, which is using plugins. There are a lot of plugins out there, but I've tried a bunch of the free ones for you. Here's what the outputs look like. You can see it's not very perfect. It has a lot of crooked lines and is not really usable for professional work. You might think free plugins just aren't that great. So I went ahead and tried the paid ones for you. Let me show you what I found. Even with paid plugins like this image tracer, the colors aren't accurate and it loses a lot of details. It's kind of okay-ish, but still not a professional result. And with another one called Vectorizer, the colors are better, but it still has a lot of noise and lost details. And that's why these aren't the best options. This leads us to the secret weapon that I use for converting images into vectors, and that's Kittle. It's a web-based online design tool and with a ton of amazing features, but we're gonna focus on the AI Vectorizer. Just click Vectorize your image, upload the file, and then you can choose the number of colors you want. Kittle basically uses AI in the background to vectorize this image for you and you get a perfect SVG ready to download. Now, let's compare the Kittle result with the paid Figma plugin outputs. As you can see, the details in the logo are preserved very well. The curved edges, the colors, they're all super accurate to the original image. You can just copy this SVG directly into Figma. And the best part is you can go ahead and change the colors and make any edits you want to the vector. It's a huge time saver. 